I come bearing donuts. All right. Anyone for a late shift sugar injection? I just need to, um, <clears throat> Zoe. Hang on. Ethan. Ignore it. It's not our problem. Doesn't look like it's hers, either. I attempt with a donut. Oh, no, thank you. I'm more of a cheese man. No. Just seen it. Undercover journalist of the weekend. No mention that the young boy's now recovering, but then that would make a good story, would it? I take you know about the inquiry? Obviously not spoken to Guy. The Trust are interviewing all senior staff to find out what happened on Saturday. Yeah, I know what an inquiry is. Well, then you'll have it all in hand. Hold the ED. Mm-hmm. OK. Yeah, I can have a doctor ready. Thank you. Lily, they need a doctor at a helicopter incident, so can you inform the team that I'll be going? I'll be sending you updates, and can you make sure that Reese has had some space, please? Zoe. Are you talking to me now? Yeah, I am, so it's probably a good idea if you listen to me. Shouldn't you be sending someone else? You do your job, I'll do mine. <sighs> Where's Jeff? I need an update. Um, he's with the pilot. He's a priority at the moment. Jeff is concerned about the threatened airway. Uh, there's three in the back. Uh, one lady, Jessica, is trapped, but we really can't get in there, so we're not sure quite what's going on. Um, also, uh, Rosie, the young lady, she climbed out with the help of some boys. Um, pretty minor injuries. OK. Jeff, is this the guy from the threatened airway? Yeah. Jeez, this has dropped to six, so we need to get him out ASAP, really. OK, I'll see you then. Why haven't we got the top off this? We need to get them out. We're wasting time. Yeah, because the cliff face is unstable and could go at any minute, and if it does and that door is open, We'll be carrying out bodies. Okay. Okay, Jessica. I'm just gonna check you home before we get you out. Okay. You're gonna have to work fast. Just a quick once over, right? Okay. Oh, 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 easy, mate. You take that next street, all right? Good man. Nice and calm. We'll get her out as quick as we can. How are you doing, boys? Good man. Go in. Hey, you need to get out of there, mate. Just hang on, Jeff. Hang on. No, you just... Jack, you've got stinging. Well, Zoe, you need to get out of there now. No, no, Jack. Just go, just go. Zoe, get out of there now. Go, 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 Jeff insisted she stay with another patient. You haven't heard. Zoe's trapped in the helicopter. <coughs> yeah. OK, let me know as soon as, Jeff. OK. Right, they're going to get us out of here as soon as possible. How are you doing? It hurts. Everything hurts. Jessica, I'm going to struggle to find a vein to get any fluids in here. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to use a special drill. I guess the medication straight into the bone. What? Keep talking to me, Jessica. Mick says I'm the worst person he knows where I'm needles. Well, what does Mick know? Well done, well done. My birthday's today. It's my mum's birthday today. It makes you on the cusp of cancer. Mm. I read somewhere once, uh, that means we're really crabby and moody. Also very tenacious, very tough, and that's perfect for right now. Because I hate to break it to you, but this is really going to hurt. These ribs. I need to see her. Do something. Anything. I need to tell her about Jessica. Hey, come on, we'll get him out. No news is good news, right? Big breath for me. We're trapped, aren't we? I might prefer the term mildly inconvenienced. You shouldn't really have stayed with me, should you? Maybe not, but you needed me. 
And you needed me more than you needed anyone else. Some birthday treat, huh? <laughs> Give me a deep breath. Are you smoke her? The odd one here and there. You're doing better than me. It's definitely not going to happen today. <laughs> oh, no, no. Try not to move that. Try not to move that. Oh, everything hurts. I just want to get out of here now. I know, I know. We just don't know how safe it is to move this year. <laughs> OK. You didn't disappoint. Your neurological examination is normal. So is your CT. But I thought it was broken when I couldn't feel my hand. You, uh, you retired after suffering anxiety attacks. Could have been useful to know. I didn't think it was important. Look, you've been very lucky. Can you move your hand for me? I could have got out. I could have helped Jess. I don't understand what happened. The pilot's stable and by sending him up to the right feet was definitely fractured. Her left... CT? Uh, yeah. I'll tell you what. No, no, Mary Jane Watson feels every time Spider-Man goes home. You OK? I'm pleased to be able to inform you that all members of the family are currently stable. We're expecting them to make a full recovery. We ask for your cooperation at this time and we will pass on any new information. We've just saved five people. Isn't that what's important? What happened on Saturday? What happened on Saturday night? Tell us what happened on Saturday night. Okay, I'll tell you. St James has had to close, so we had to take everyone. Everyone. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The rest of the system isn't. Social care isn't there at the weekends. Most consultants are not there on the wards at the weekends. So that means they can't discharge any of their patients, which means we can't transfer any of our patients up there. So when they're full and we're full, what do we do with new patients? They have to stay on ambulances or on trolleys in corridors. We don't like it, they don't like it, but it's not my staff's fault. My staff work their hardest to cope. And sometimes, just sometimes, we can't. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to see my patient. What a chance to get. Too right. It's about time someone said it. Upstairs won't like it. Good for her. She shouldn't have said that. Excuse me, Jessica. Open the doors. Dr. Hannah! What happened? She dropped a GCS in the scan and became tachycardic. Well, did the scan show anything? It happened as they were finishing. Well, she must be bleeding from somewhere Thank else. You. Right, can we get the fast scanner and somebody prime the rapid infuser? I don't understand this. She was stable. OK, Rita, can you set up an RSI? On it. Come on, Jess, stay with us. This free fluid. It's intra-abdominal bleeding. OK. Well, she still has a faint pulse. I just need a decent pressure to be able to do the RSI. OK, can we get that blood in stat, Rita? Somebody fast leave the surgical registrar. What the hell happened? I've lost her pulse. Yeah, I'll pass that on. That was the radiologist. They've seen a deeply embedded, dense metal fragment next to the inferior vena cava. Could it have been a bullet fragment? Possibly. I should have got to the CT scan as soon. Come on, Jess. OK, pulse check. Nothing. Keep going with the blood. I just need enough of an output to get her to the theatre. Don't dare die on me, Jessica.
Two minutes. Pulse check. We start compressions. Max, do you know where Jerry is? Uh, it's, I'm outside earlier. Do me a favour. Look after him, yeah? Yeah, of course, if you want. Are you okay? Yeah. It's my mum's birthday today. I need to give her a call. Could you call Mrs Beecham? Tell her I want to see her upstairs. Jerry? She's gone. They couldn't. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Lily, are you okay? You're right. Cal thought I was an easy lay again. I'm a sure thing. I was guaranteed. I actually thought he liked me. Sorry. You've already slept together. That's not the point. He was making fun of me in front of our colleagues. How can he do that? Ethan? Ethan! Who the hell do you think you are ignoring my phone calls? Embarrassing this hospital in front of the national press, leaving your team to go to an incident site. It's totally unacceptable. I couldn't agree with you more. Which is why I'm stepping down as clinical lead as of now. I didn't come into medicine to treat patients within targets and deal with the press. I came into medicine to use my time to save lives and to be a doctor. And frankly, clinical lead gets in the way. Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? I don't know. Give it to someone who wants it. Somebody who enjoys it. You want it, don't you? Connie? Yes. I'll leave you two to sort it out. Caleb. Why do you have to be such a heartless moron? What? I mean, I'm used to it. But you're not going to hurt people that I care about because I won't let you. Uh, all right, you've lost me. Lily heard you, Cal. Your sure thing. Yeah, she heard you. <laughs> oh. Come on! Ooh. See that? You know what? Not my problem anymore. You coming, Mary Jane? So, congratulations are in order. Oh, we still need to discuss terms and conditions. But there aren't any actual changes as clinical lead. Miss Fisher, guy, you couldn't afford me. No, I'm talking about the department. It's my job to ensure that this place is no longer running to the ground. I'm talking staffing levels, resources, the distinct lack of cooperation from other departments. And Zoe's future, of course. Losing her, you mean? Probably for the best. As a consultant, Zoe Hanna is probably one of the best I've worked with. She will always have my full support. 
I hope you won't challenge me on that. <laughs> well, no. No, of course not.